Ice cream makers have come a long way since 1843, when the first home ice cream makers were produced. But the technology remains kind of similar. The mixture must be chilled and churned in order to create creamy, delicious ice cream. But Morgan's here and she's gonna flip everything on its head and give us some granny technology to make ice cream that we don't have to churn. Yes, I'm gonna churn it on its head. Oh, I love it. Sorry. Um, so this is actually from our previous editor, Tucker Shaw's uh, grandmother's recipe box. So she had a recipe for orange no-churn ice cream that I loved. It made ice cream that was soft and scoopable and tasted delicious. So today I'm gonna make a mint Oreo one and show you how to make a salted caramel coconut one. Ooh, oh, I I'm sold. There are a ton of other flavors on our website. Ice cream is my favorite dessert, so I have high standards. That's great. Well, we're kindred spirits. Ice cream's my favorite dessert, too. So you start with two cups of heavy cream. That's that one for you. Okay, we're making this at the same time. Yeah. You add that right to the blender. We're going to blend this until it hits soft peaks, which will take about 20 seconds. And then we're going to keep blending for another 10 seconds or so until it actually gets to stiff peaks. Oh, okay. So what this actually is gonna do is it actually incorporates some air. So when you churn ice cream, it's incorporating air into the mixture right. while it's freezing. Heavy cream has enough fat in it that it's actually holding some of those air bubbles. So we're churning. If you have a more powerful blender, you can actually turn this into butter. So you wanna be a little careful in how long you blend it and go by the visual cues, not the time. Right. So you can see how it's stiff peaks now. So now we have all this air incorporated in here like the ice cream maker would do when it churns. Right. I have a cup of sweetened condensed milk. And this will keep the ice cream soft and scoopable in the freezer. So this doesn't freeze that well. So the ice cream will actually not turn into a rock hard mixture. For me, I have a quarter of a cup of corn syrup. Okay. You, because you're making salted caramel coconut, have a quarter of a cup of caramel sauce. Lovely. And this is again, another one of those soft sugars. Yes. Okay. Next up is a quarter of a cup of whole milk. All right. So I tried to make it without this and the ice cream just gets a little greasy. This actually cuts through that two cups of heavy cream. I also have two tablespoons of sugar up next. Okay. So next up we have extracts. You have a teaspoon of vanilla. I have three quarter teaspoon of peppermint. Mm. We both have salt. You have a half teaspoon because yours is salted caramel. Right. I want it to be nice and salty. I have a quarter teaspoon. I don't want my mint to be salty. No. And then I have a little bit of green food coloring, an eight teaspoon. I'm a firm believer that mint ice cream needs to be green. Okay, so I'm gonna stir it in. If you don't stir it, all that heavy cream that's stuck at the bottom, it won't incorporate. So, gas okay. yeah, stir. And we let this go another 20 seconds. Everything should be really nicely incorporated. If you see stuff getting stuck, you can definitely scrape it down. Okay. okay. Mine looks nicely incorporated. Mine looks the same. Yeah, oh. looks great. Good. Into the loaf pan it goes. So the loaf pan gives us a lot more surface area, which helps it freeze faster and more efficiently. The faster it freezes, the less ice crystals you get and the more creamy the ice cream. Love it. You can add just about a half cup of anything you want. Uh, I have a half cup of chopped chocolate sandwich cookies that I'm gonna stir in. I love when you get a chunk of those in the frozen ice cream. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna stir this in and get it nice and incorporated. You can see how it's like about the texture of a milkshake that helps suspend things. Okay, so you have a quarter of a cup of toasted coconut and you can just go crazy with that. So you have a third of a cup of caramel and I want you to lightly drizzle it over top. That's beautiful. So now I want you to take the tines of the fork and very lightly swirl it in. And I don't want you to do too many swirls. Okay. Zoop. <laughs> I like the Zoop. noise. I'm glad you picked up on the noise. Zoop. Okay. Zoop. I think that's stunning. So the reason you wanna be careful while you're swirling is you want these nice pockets of caramel. That's mm -hmm. gonna be real fun while you're eating. And then also, if you actually stir it in too much, this is that liquid sugar, your ice cream won't freeze. Right. We just cover it with plastic and you wanna put it directly over the surface of the ice cream. Right. If you don't, you can get ice crystals there. Not, Not good. good, no. So now we just have to freeze them, which will take about six hours till it's firm. Of course, you can let it go a little longer than that. Okay, so just right in the freezer. Right in the freezer. This is the moment. These look spectacular. I could just see a whole lineup of different flavors. Mm -hmm. And you'd think that I would do that for a party, but I would just do that for myself. I mean, that sounds like a great night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have two bowls, so I'll get you a scoop of this if you trade me a scoop of that. Fantastic. 
There we go. Okay. Here's one for you. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. I know, I love the green. I told you, it's green. It's like a Technicolor fantasy. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna tuck into the one I made here, the caramel nice. coconut. I'm gonna go for the mint cookie first. Oh, <laughs> anything salted caramel. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much one of my favorite flavors because you can't stop eating it. I know, well, that's how I feel about the mint. Mm. The texture to me is just like what you think of with churned ice cream. Absolutely, there's not an ice crystal to be found anywhere. I saw the caramel. Excellent. Bellissimo. <laughs> that wakes me up. That's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a peppermint pickup right there. So soft and creamy and customizable. Yes. This is the first of many? Many. Many ice cream dates. <laughs> I'll see you on round two of our ice cream date. So if you'd like to take your turn at no churn ice cream, start by whipping heavy cream in a blender. Use sweetened condensed milk to make the ice cream soft and scoopable. Mix in lots of fun flavors. So from Cook's Country and Morgan's Ice Cream Shop, it's our fabulous No Churn Ice Cream. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>